Often, it is desirable to approximate complicated functions using polynomials, as these are easier to integrate, differentiate, and evaluate. As you can imagine, the higher the degree of this polynomial, the more accurate the approximation. Consider the figure on the right-hand side, where we have the function y equals e to the x in red, and a polynomial estimator of increasing degree about the point x equals 0 in green. Notice that as the degree of this polynomial increases, the accuracy about the point x equals 0 also increases. The approximation of a function by a polynomial of degree n at a point a can be done using a Taylor series. The Taylor series of a function f of x at a point a is given by the summation of the nth derivative evaluated at point a over n factorial by x minus a all to the power of n. Or more commonly as f of a plus f dash of a over 1 factorial by x minus a plus f double dash of a over 2 factorial by x minus a to be squared plus f triple dash of a over 3 factorial by x minus a to be cubed. So as you can see from this formula, first of all we must evaluate the function at the point a. Then we calculate the first derivative and evaluate this derivative at the point a. Divide by 1 factorial and multiply by x minus a all to the power of 1. Then our next term is the second derivative evaluated at the point a divided by 2 factorial, all multiplied by x minus a to be squared. So as you can see, there is a very clear and repetitive pattern occurring. The nth derivative evaluated at point a, divided by n factorial, multiplied by x minus a to the power of n. When we consider the Taylor series about the point a equals 0, we have a special series known as the Maclaurin series. Thus, with a equals 0, the Maclaurin series of a function f of x is given by f of 0 plus f dash of 0 over 1 factorial multiplied by x plus f double dash of 0 over 2 factorial by x squared plus f triple dash of 0 over 3 factorial by x cubed and so forth. Maclaurin and Taylor series can be constructed for elementary functions such as e to the x sine x ln x and for composite functions such as e to the sine x as we'll see over the next few videos.